I know we start in different places on these maps, but this one seems a bit silly. We're behind a wall, behind a building. I don't know. This seems a bit silly in terms of where I can actually go on move ones. Nevertheless, let's continue playing XCOM The Long War. Heading to that location. And since so we only have one door we can get through, we're going to attempt to go through that one door. Don't immediately encounter aliens in the shortest, most pitched battle Heading ever. Out. So huzzah for that. Meanwhile, let's get some people moving. The weird move. system. Because every XCOM defense needs a weird system eventually. Demian yeah, I mean, will move to the other side of the Understood. door. Out. And then I have no idea we're moving anybody else. Except possibly around the back of the building. This is basically the... the um, if we actually look at this the other way around. This is normally where you send up um, your scouts. Because you normally put it on this side of things. <laughs> but, you know, we started there so we shall continue with it. You are going to Moving move to out. point. And finally, the worst rookie in the entire complex, Shadowhawk, will move to there. Watch him eventually save the day. He'll either die horribly, like he should, or he will save the day. Hence why I'm being him. The only one to survive the culling, because he was actually in hospital at the time. Okay, there are drones around. Weird system, open the door, please. Enemy in sight. We have found some drones. Just two though, but it's a good start for um, good start for the troops. Demian, you have first shot. Okay, good work. One down already. Shadowhawk will probably have the second shot, though. Given he can't get to good cover, maybe he won't. I'm rolling. Target acquired. Weird system has unfortunately found additional drones. Good news for Weird System is he does have this, and there's a good chance of making this work. Throwing grenade. One down. All looks good. Right, next up, the center is going to do exactly the same thing. If it gets desperate, we can always use um, Bolchin to run gun. But honestly, that's two dealt with. Right, Shadowhawk then. Uh, doesn't really have any positions of great cover to run to. And can't see them anyway. Does also have an AP grenade. Last thing I want to do with Bolchin though is... Um, aye, aye. Just got hard in here. Is do that. But we've done that now, so we carry on. Vulture no 70% chance to kill this one. Damn yes, but we didn't waste a running gun with that. Moving to position. Alright, you move forward. You can see one. 39% chance of a kill, or we AP grenade it away. But actually, can we AP grenade the. We could actually. Shadowhawk goes for grenade kill. Frag out. So both the drones are weakened, and that probably means they're going to go and do something silly, like... Um... Actually, I can't even see where I'm... Because that's the thing, with the cover there, I can't actually see whether this is actually going to be beneficial to us. So that would be full cover there. You'd also have full cover there. You're going to run back to there. And you're going to go on Overwatch. Alright, now we'll see what they do. They might flank Bolchin at this point. If they go up the side route. They probably won't, because I only ever send snipers up there. Overwatch. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. No mind frame shenanigans here, thank you. Now it's what do the drones do? They do have flanking abilities, so... Cover the flank. Okay, bit of damage, but we'll live with that. Animus. Okay. 
So, given everything, Mr. O'Hawk, you will have the first attempt. Because we're desperate to get you a kill somewhere. No. Doesn't matter. Um, Mr. Weird System has a chance at both, but we're going to take the 56 here. Weird System with another kill. But Dissenter... has got Overwatches to think about. Otherwise I'd advance here. I don't have a scout to trigger things, so... The best bet I've got is that. Or doing something else. I'm on it, Commander. Yeah, to there. You can't see more of them anyway, so it's probably best that we just hold off. Target still up. Okay. Stepping off. Yandarella's going to run to hard cover. You are going to go on Overwatch. And then I'm going to debate other things. Um. Yeah, we'll keep on Overwatch. Unfortunately, I can't do a lot of support bulging at this point. Well, I could, but it's with the Overwatch there. If that wasn't for that, I'd be able to move up and take a few more risks. Now, determine to stay on Overwatch. And we found some more drones. One reaction shot. Damn it. Missed. Enemy is still alive. Now we've got two reaction shots to worry about. I've really got to just uh, be careful with this. Over here. So they are well outside of um, what I would consider his normal range. Okay. So let's think about this a bit. We've got you who are looking at six. I need to move people out because if I move people along, I can actually get some more people involved in this combat. So just enter, you're That's running to there. This will also give you slightly better to hit chances. Next up, not necessarily Mr. Hawk, but Weird I'm System can move to there. We can then move... Demi into there. We can then move you back to there. Okay. See, this is kind of where it's working. So, 70% chance from you. You must feel really good to hit. And it was enough to kill. That reduces our problems to six. A Shadowhawk from here is going to take a 40% chance. And earns a hit, but not a kill. We have three more left, but no grenades. You have a 37% chance on both. We're going to hold off for that for the moment. Weird System has a 35% chance on that single. Damien, with his last shot, has a 37% chance on this one. Go for it. Got the kill. That reduces the numbers to five that we have to worry about. You're going on Overwatch. The center is also going to go on to... Actually, since it's going to strike, if we get this, I'd say if we got that, that'd be beneficial for us. But we didn't. 22%. I don't have the odds in our favour to really go for this. So just no as long as he stays there and doesn't come up the sides, Vulture should be okay. We know the elevated position on it. But it's the Overwatches which are bothering me at the moment because I can't really help with the rookies. Weird system, quarter chance. That's got to be your second or third kill of the match thus far. In comes something a little more interesting. This now is a flanking position. Okay. So really, I kind of have to deal with this. Can I pistol him to death? He's only got one hit point. So I've got a quarter chance of pistoling him to death. And that was worth a go. Sights. You need a reload. Let's do this. I think we're going to send Mr. O'Hawk here. Location. And wish he was a bit closer to actually have a proper shot. No wash. Okay. Next we need to consider flanking the sectoids without triggering them. 
So, you're going to okay. move to there. So, we now know that's a safe spot. I'm going to have you reload, actually. Good to go. That's affirmative. And Arella will move to there. Got and watch. Coming. Weird system is going for a reload. Ready to engage. <laughs> They watch again, that's a bit annoying, but they don't, they actually move this time. That looked like it should have hit. But okay, we'll take that as a miss. This means we can actually move in advance now. Who are you going for? You're going for the same bloke. But you are stopped by a lamppost. Darn those lampposts. Shadowhawk reaction shot, 27% chance. Yeah, we were kind of expecting that. Shot failed to connect. You just startle some butterflies though. That's got to be helpful. And Bolchin is going to spend some time in hospital. Right. There's no overwatches to worry about, but there's only so very dodgy cover back here. So. Actually. you got to reload. Of course you have to reload. Alright, if you didn't have to reload, that would be brilliant for us, I think. But for now, I'm on the you're going to move to there. So Desanto now has a flanking um, position on you. 67% chance. Let's go for the shot. Free damage. Alright. We still have a run gun available. Now, the reason... What I was considering earlier was that if Shadowhawk could have killed this um, drone, I'd have perfect flanking position to go and deal with this guy. As it happens, I don't. So... I've got to work out what everybody else can do. And what everybody else can do is... Make some preparations, I think, but not actually get too close. So you can get to there. Yanderella could now actually throw a grenade and give has a reasonable likelihood of killing this one. In fact, I can damage both of them doing this and hopefully destroy your cover even if I don't kill. Oh, well, that was fairly rubbish. But not your fault. And at that point, this would give you cover as long as I kill the drone. But not good cover give you half cover there, half cover there, half cover there. Yeah, so half cover is all we would get. But I'd also get you in close combat specialist. 75. And Bolchin earns his promotion. Unfortunately, he's still using a pistol rather than a shotgun, which is probably... Yeah, probably should have um, adjusted that slightly. Demian's there for Overwatch purposes. You are going to move around way. with the intent of flanking, I think. And because a 1 in 5 chance of killing an alien is a 1 in 5 chance of killing an alien, we're going to take that shot. That is not good. Channelhawk shall retreat Heading for the moment and do a reload. Reloaded. Overwatch. Higher position, plus other bonuses, that was worth a go. Over here. Okay, reaction fire. So they're both down the one hit point. Oh, Bolton's actually in a bit of trouble here. Does that not trigger close combat? Okay. This is a problem. Who's got medkits? Of course, Shadowhawk doesn't, but Demian does. So, your first order of business, get close. We can still win this if we kill them off now. And we definitely have flanking abilities available still to us. So, on the, move. the center moves down. That's what we're looking for. So, we now are flanking on the two with no health. Oh, Hawk. Can't quite move down far enough this round, but can other people can get closer. So Yanderella, forward. 
Just working out where we can move to that's still going to give us bonuses. Um, you can move to there. I'm being a bit safe with this one. 35% chance of a kill there. Shadowhawk can't quite make it to any hard cover, but if I put you there for next turn, you'll probably be the one they shoot at. Okay. Yanderella then has a 40% chance at this one. You have a 82% chance at this first one. You're going to take the 82. Bye -bye. One down. You're probably going to overwatch. Because that gives us safety regardless. One in three. Taken care of. So that leaves the one alien at the back. Who's hunkered down, actually. Bizarre for that. That means you've got plenty of time for this. You are then going to move into range of the um, medkit. And now you are going to flank him. And while that Mel just continually shouts at us, Take me! But no. 1% chance is all we get. So this is really just a move up um, turn. He moves to there. We do need to flank him, so... We're just setting up for positions. Yanderella? Getting it done. You're also 5%, but you're going to go for an overwatch. Just pin him in position for the moment. You can't quite duck round enough, so you're going to go for... Actually, you might even want to go for the meld. We're not going to get it, but you might want it. Stepping off. Overwatch. You dare shoot at Mr. O'Hawk? Okay. So this time he went for an attack. This time also we're going to do something rather silly, I feel. Where is Mr. O'Hawk? Mr. O'Hawk is going to go out of cover and take a shot. This is the best chance I am going to have to kill something. And he does! Excellent work. All objectives complete. O'Hawk has earned a promotion. Soon to be ultimate hero of our complex. A higher rank than obviously hero of our complex. That's just we give that away with um, we give that away with cereal. I mean, come on. Officer training school is now available. Everybody promoted. We'll start with Mr. Weird System. Um, we picked up another Rocketeer last time. I think you can probably be more useful to us a heavy, but I did a sort of guide to people, but I don't think I had any more requests. I think we're gonna give you the extra rocket. Weapons. You can be the heavy then, because we've already just we just given ourselves a rocketeer, that makes sense. Right, Shadowhawk as a support. Well, you are going to be an engineer. We can't hit things, you might as well throw be able to throw grenades. Honestly, grenades. Tactical. This gives us the infantry. Bolchin is promoted to Corporal and unfortunately has 30 days um, recovery to put up with. So a bonus damage reduction if in cover and not flanked. But I think what we're going to take is we're going to take the Ranger for the extra one damage to everything. So it's after that. Also a Scout Sniper. I think we easily take another Scout here. So that is mostly Alien Sorted. Mannequin Russia commander. has gone down. We have 191 credits. I'm going to now go straight to the Grey Market and sell off some Sectoid Corpses. That gives us 200, and the reason 200 is relevant is because that is the amount we need to get some things going. We do need more power, though. One officer training school, one... One lab, or one repair thing. Or... I could try and get an extra 350 and get our power supply sources out now. I mean, obviously we've got the new month coming up, but I'd like to build it now if possible. So, that's what I meant to look up. Bear with me two moments while I actually do that. 
Okay, I found out that yes, they are relevant for a foundry project Negative. later in the game, be on which uh, to the uh, massively reduces the injury times. So actually, they do have a purpose. But I'm going to sell four of them off at this point. So that gives me 261. At this point, I'm also going to sell off some Illyrium and some Alien Alloys because I want to get myself to 350. So I need 47 more points. So let's get and sell off 5, 1, and that. I'm not going to sell the meld off, we just don't have any. Another 10 of each of those gives me now 60, so that's more than I actually need by a bit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It was actually a block pod. Uh, no, but it doesn't matter. So this means we're going to build ourselves our thermal generator plant here, which provides 25 plus power. We're going to just build that. Don't need to rush it. Leaves with 11 credits left and with that i have difficulty understanding how such an advanced species could show so little empathy for the lives of with that we're going to ignore you and go to mission control and our we have our satellite down. standing by for launch we are ready to deploy it on your orders so this is why i probably should have waited for china actually Additional uplink required here we go then Twenty cent bonus cash from abductions. We already have air superiority, I'm sure we do, but um plus two bonus to new engineers and medics. Do we not have this bonus? You tell the men we can't have them bringing back alien body parts as souvenirs. It's a breach of protocol. You know what? Because it doesn't appear as if we actually have the thing yet. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. And because... And because we have a request from Mexico... I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a satellite in Mexico. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional oh, my uplink's not done yet. That 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 would be a reasonable thing, actually. Yeah, nothing actually is going to get built after the uh, council report, but yeah, can't do a lot about that. At some point, I really need to build another thing, but we need 200 more credits for that, really. Creds, simoleons, whatever. Will we have a mission for the end of the month? Next to certain, we will. Incoming transmission. No. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Remember, we will be watching. Okay. From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. So what I'm thinking here, at this point in the game, is going workshop. Which needs four power. We could then go with a foundry, which needs six power, actually. Mm, you have to wait on that. Yeah, so I could go repair bay and a um, workshop, which would give us the slight adjacency bonuses. And save us a little bit of cash there. Okay, we're going to go with that. So the workshop should really be in the middle, I think. Because I'm going to connect things off of it. So workshop goes there. 21 days. Next up, we're going to build our repair bay. Actually, no. Well, Alright, fine. We won't do that then. Because I, I confuse things, so that's fine. I can put another fission generator here, which will definitely supply power when we get um, all the links sorted out. No, I think it's more important we get the officer training school up. And 
120 for the fission generator. I probably could get away with this. Build facilities, build another fission generator there. That will solve our immediate power concerns once everything goes up. Complete. Now we need 200 for an extra satellite, but we'll worry about that later. For now, though, because apparently we do not have the um, air superiority bonuses, even though we are in that territory, and I thought we were going to have that, we are going to instead... We're instead going to secure this place, so we're going to put that in Canada. No, we're going to put that in Mexico because we get the bonuses. Satellite launched. Two engineers got for that. Plus 10% bonus to sonic training chances. And at some point we'll get that We're one in Canada as well. Contacts at the moment, but we may need to run a diagnostic. This doesn't look like a legitimate target. On the grey market, we don't have enough to currently build an extra one, but it doesn't the new matter engineers too much. Arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Still 200 needed. Okay. So continue the scan. And we have finished the weaponry. Marksmanship scope is available and so is scope. Uh, here beyond targets, beyond visual range. It's fine. And the scope is after that. Beam lasers. Um, experimental warfare. What's experimental warfare giving us? Because we already have the foundry available. Xenogenetics, alien computers, sectoid autopsies, phenomen autopsies. And that is the thing that allows us to capture, but currently we can't build that anyway, so I'm actually gonna focus on beam lasers. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Okay, that'll do. Now we just have to wait for something to happen. Alien reduction. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Okay, let's go and grab some stuff then. So, remaining rookies are Hanson, Lynch, and then everybody else who actually we need to rename. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename um, the soldiers based on anybody who's left on the list. I think they've got a couple of people still left. Somebody will take Van Dorn. Unfortunately, they kind of have to. And then we're going with a mission with mostly upgraded troops. So we'll be looking for at least two people who are high on the list. So probably these two, in fairness, or probably Angle, because he's got the accuracy. And then two people lower down on the list who are quite close to needing, getting up to the second level of things. So that's the plan. I'll be back in a moment. Music. 